we got to get to the top or die trying. Is this Michigan's best team in the Jim Harbaugh era? If they stay out of their own way, it's going to be a special year. Michigan will beat Ohio State. Your 2023 Big Ten champion, Michigan Wolverine. No one got it better than us. No one. It's a galvanized team. It's like the best one you've ever been on. They play for each other, and it's a daily thing. I mean, it's, it's about treating others as you would want to be treated. The choice to be the best version of yourself on and off the field. Jim Harbaugh found himself off the field for half of the regular season after serving two three-game suspensions. The first three games of the season stemming from an NCAA investigation into alleged violations during the COVID-19 pandemic. The last three for violating the Big Ten's sportsmanship policy in an alleged sign-stealing scheme. What was it like for you to have to watch those games this season away from the team? It wasn't just that. I mean, uh, you know, it just started a little bit earlier than that. You know, I mean, people were questioning uh, just how good our team was. They got a weak schedule and everything. Sign stealing. You know, that's why they were good. They are questioning these savage warriors. The sign stealing. Michigan and Harbaugh were accused of sending an assistant coach to games of future opponents to gain knowledge of their signals over the last three seasons. Allegedly, using in-person advanced scouting and technology methods banned by the NCAA. And not only question them why they're good, but you just said it, like the sign stealing thing. That's an integrity thing. How does it feel for you as the leader of this group that your integrity would be questioned? Yeah, well, I, would, I would love to talk about that. You know, unfortunately, as part of that, you know, I'm not allowed to, muzzled. Uh, when it comes to that, but I was very clear and the day that it came out, you know, in a statement exactly, exactly where I stood on that. Jim Harbaugh in a statement saying, I do not have any knowledge or information regarding the program illegally stealing signals, nor have I directed any staff member or others to participate in an off-campus scouting assignment. I have no awareness of anyone on our staff having done that or having directed that action. Despite the in-season turmoil, and calls for Michigan to be excluded from the CFP, they're here, playing in the Rose Bowl, a stadium and a game that holds a special place in Harbaugh's heart. He played in the game in 1987 and dreamed of it when his father was an assistant coach for Michigan in the 1970s. You've lived the Rose Bowl mystique. How do you define the Rose Bowl mystique? Yeah, for the, uh, for the Harbaugh's it was that was our one shot at a vacation. <laughs> uh, growing up here in Ann Arbor, Michigan, we kept asking dad, like, okay, dad, can we go on a vacation? Can we take a vacation? It got to the point where he said, you want a vacation? I'll take you for a vacation. Load up in the car. He drove around the, the circle of the town where there's a, there's a fountain and everything. He goes, there's your vacation. The only chance we had a vacation was to go to the Rose Bowl. But then, uh, then we did in 1977. In 1978, when a guy by the name of Rick Leach came along, led the Wolverines to the Rose Bowl, we were able to go out there and just live in, live in the dream. This is a business trip. <laughs> There's no doubt about this it. This is a business trip this time. Third consecutive year in the college football playoff. How will you use the past two experiences this time around, either to motivate or prepare your team? The first time, you know, going to the college football playoffs, in a way, I mean, if we were all honest, we'd say, Man, anything that happens after this is is uh, icing on the cake. Last year it was we got we got to win it all. You know we got we got to apex the mountain, and uh, that's how we feel about about it this year. We want to simply be known as champions.